as you know, we have been a victim of chemical weapons, widespread use against our uh, military personnel and our people. So we are very serious about mm. the use of chemical weapons. And this is an action that should be uh, condemned by all countries across the globe. You would condemn Assad for it? Everybody who would use chemical weapons should be condemned in strong terms. Including Bashar al-Assad? Everybody, exactly. Right. So, uh, as you know, uh, it has taken decades to reach to an agreement on banning chemical weapons within a chemical weapons convention. So we hope that uh, this multilateral mechanism could efficiently work on the same. So where does your relationship with Assad stand then, if you will say, as you have done, this is a totally uh, uh, egregious action that no one should suffer, nobody should inflict on their people. You can't stand shoulder to shoulder with Bashar al-Assad anymore, can you? Uh, you know that uh, Bashar al-Assad is the only legitimate government of Syria. And uh, uh, we have uh, been uh, involving the Syrian uh, uh, situation just to fight the terrorism and uh, at the invitation of the legitimate government to fight, to fight seriously the terrorists on, on the ground. So it's a question of uh, asking a legitimate government for fighting against terrorism, which we all share. So How can he be legitimate if he's gassing his own people with chemical weapons? He's legitimate because he's a member of the United Nations. And uh, as you know, the Syrian uh, theater is very complex now. There are different actors, non-state actors, and uh, in but fact... But do you feel conflicted? I mean, sir, you, you, you know how strongly you feel about chemical weapons. Do you feel conflicted now, standing side by side with Assad? That's the question, because now we see some, some countries are claiming that chemical weapons have been used, but the question is that there is no... Uh, uh, in fact, uh, information on the ground to prove that. So first, we want to establish proof, and we are happy that, uh, in fact, the uh, inspectors from the OPCW are on their own way, and uh, based on the news, they would be tomorrow in, uh, well, on to, the ground. To put this in context, we know that in 2013, he did use chemical weapons against his own people. That has been irrefutably proved by many organizations, external organizations, including the UN. Russia tonight has claimed that Britain staged these chemical attacks. Now, Russia is also your ally. Do you understand why Russia would say something like that? So the question is that we should uh, establish uh, the realities based on the facts. But the facts are whatever anyone chooses exactly. to believe exactly. or any state prefers to offer up as propaganda. Absolutely. So that's, that's because we have established a convention, a multilateral mechanism to establish the facts on the ground. And then there is a mechanism for a collective multilateral action against such okay. use of chemical Let's weapons. just turn to where we are now. It seems as if, possibly over the course of the weekend, even as early as tomorrow night, there could be air attacks, military intervention by possibly the US, maybe even Britain, against Syria now. What is Iran's response to that? Any attack against Syria at these circumstances, when we do not see any proof on the ground by a legitimate organization, which is OPCW, is against international law. Let's, and what do you let's do? be very clear about that. So we hope that we, we exercise self-restraint, first in, to enable the inspectors to establish the, the facts and see uh, chemical weapons, whether have been used or not. And then we would have a collective action, all of us. Do you think that the situation has already changed? I know that Iran has claimed that Israel targeted Syria, killing Iranian revolutionary guards. Um, has that already changed the picture for you, whether it's true or not? As I said, we, we are in Syria at the invitation of the government to fight against terrorism. There is no doubt that uh, there are terrorist organizations and terrorist uh, in fact, groups in, in Syria, uh, which uh, all countries have the commitment to fight against them. And we are very happy that with the uh, solidarity of a number of countries, we have been able to fight Daesh 
ISIS. And we hope that with that uh, uh, consolidation of solidarity, we would be able to further fight against the other terrorist groups. Let me ask you to step back, because I know that you yourself were a very important part of the Iran-US deal. Do you recognize the US still as your friend? Is President Trump someone you can work with? President Trump has been very hostile to our nation and to our government. He has called Iranian nation a terrorist nation. So is he is, an enemy now? In fact, that's the reality that we see on the ground. And President Trump, uh, from the day one that uh, came to uh, the presidency, tried to uh, use a, a very harsh word against uh, Iran and the Iranian nation, Iranian government, and nuclear deal, which was the product of intensive negotiations uh, between Iran mm. and uh, other, other countries. Ambassador, before you go, Nazadine Zadari Ratcliffe, a British mother who was on holiday in Iran, has now been imprisoned in your jails for two years. When will she come home? We are doing our best, uh, in fact, to, to uh, talk to our judiciary and see uh, uh, what we can do for her as, uh, in fact, uh, to use some of the provisions as humanitarian ground to help her to return home and be with, his, uh, be with her child. We but, thought uh, that could be before Christmas and now we're in April. What's holding it up and how soon do you think she'll get out? Yes, uh, as, as you know, uh, the judicial processes are complicated and we have uh, started, uh, in fact, a uh, uh, quite intensive dialogue with the, with the judiciary and, and see what they can do, because that's the decision of the judiciary, to make a proper decision uh, to, in fact, uh, use some of the uh, legal grounds to, as humanitarian, uh, con in, within the humanitarian context to, to help her. Is your sense that it could be within weeks? Uh, I cannot give any date, but uh, we are trying our best. Ambassador, thank you. Thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you.